Hello everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2 the Divergences of Darkness. So last time we played we were at war with the um, Kingdom of Aragon for their protectorate state of uh, Provence. So let's continue what we were doing. So I have a fairly large army here. Spain went bankrupt, which is a shame. And uh, I'm kind of rallying these armies here. Cavalry de la Regulaire. And then the Royal Guard. Okay, this is the, f the Mediterranean fleet. I'm just going to combine this into the second army. End of the colonial war. Spain, they have vanquished the revolutionaries and taken back our colonies along with España. So Spanish Gran Colombia is now a thing. All right, so I've got an army here. We're going to march, kill them hopefully. I should have the forces to quickly defeat them. And uh, take Provence. So they occupied half of Spain. Spain, I assume, is going to be bringing armies back to the, to the old world because they have like 50,000 men across the colonies. More than that, they probably have like 60,000 men across the colonies. Well, look at that. Plantagia defeated seven republics. Oh, man. A crisis in northern Serbia. No. Spain went and declared bankruptcy. That's a shame. Oh, good. We defeated them handily. Time to invade. Let's see if we can defeat them in Pau. But, uh, we're going to capture some land. Can I, like, demand a state? What kind of, uh, what kind of land do we got here? This is all Catalina, Aragon. I should seize, uh, sir, Sunset Over Rebellions. Well, let's read this. The Ottoman Civil War lasted for more than 30 years, and now it is over, and we have saved what we could, but the damage has been made. Will the Empire find its place under the sun again? Turkey. Ooh, Syria has become free. It is a presidential dictatorship. Hmm. Sounds, uh, familiar. Sounds familiar. It'll just become a protectorate under me. I'll declare warned. Take it all. Take the quote unquote holy lands. So, let's take, uh, we'll occupy some of this. And hopefully, our ally. Actually, we're gonna take this army back here. Yay! We'll take the coastal region. Crisis averted. Yeah, no one cares. No one cares about northern Serbia. I'm sorry, Serbia. No one cares. The great powers of the era are well to doing their own. Army of the Crown of and the regular of London. Which is just a cavalry regiment? What the hell? Upper House has been rearranged, and we have elections. Wartime election. What the hell happened to my... Ireland garrison. Random. Random artillery regiment. Okay, you know, he's, they're gonna go there. This is the Army of London, so you're gonna go to London. We're almost, like, occupied them 100%. So, my population is 
actually 53 million, which is not very big considering we own um, most of France and modern day England, uh, Wales, and Ireland. Let's march. Let's uh, crush some of their armies. And uh, they're going to retreat to Toulon. Um, they're at war with Genoa, which I just find amusing. Uh, I'm going to support the conservatives. Savoy Malta acquires all the states. I have no. So Savoy, you're not getting that. Annex province. Annexed. My nation. Now I'm just fighting Aragon, which can be done. So let's march to uh, Barcelona. Beautiful, beautiful. So we'll take Barcelona and uh, uh, bar fight turned bloody. Justice demands a retrial. I have a fleet and I'm uh, Steam transport. I should probably make a steam transport fleet. That way I can actually move troops from uh, the British Isles to France. Let's get some uh, more Irish soldiers. Let's get an Irish mobile artillery. Have them based in Dublin. Get some English infantry. Some light cab. And then I'll get some uh, Angolese regulars. Just to kind of bolster my forces in the aisles. They moved. So now I could actually demand something. I could add a war goal. I could demand a colony. What colony would I want? I don't even think I'd want one of their colonies. Maybe take Catalina. Oh, that's actually part of... Hmm. I mean, there's nothing that I really want out of... Uh, the barracks from hell cannot allow this to continue. So Argon is basically going to fall as a great power after this war. After uh, fighting me. Almost nothing they can do. Uh, minorities under attack. Bring them to justice. I don't know if I did what I did was good or not, but you know what I mean. The age of liberalism. We expect liberal activity to increase in recent years, which is completely fine. Uh, national debate trade policy. Sure, whatever. Don't. I don't know. <laughs> My trade policy is um, that I make all the money. I, mean, I, really don't, I don't really have a trade policy. Let's take Valencia. We've taken the entire coast of uh, the Aragonese. All right, propose peace. They would accept. Beautiful. The war is over. Huzzah! Actually, make an Anglo French state in Sierra Leone. Sure, I guess. Announce our interest in Italia. Aragon already doesn't like me, so it doesn't matter. Conservatives declare victory. Let's 
So our interest in Italia, I think that gives us a thing that should construct Italy. It says um, Italy does not exist. Core Italian, blah, blah, blah. Have invented state and government. So that's what I need. I need state and government. And Savoy has invented state and government. Or nationalism and imperialism. Savoy gets the Avanti Italia event. So basically any country that is, um, they will turn to Italy and then they will declare war on these countries and unite Italy. So let's split the first army up. Do one, two, three, and we'll move some infantry over. I don't know where the hell it's pulling 14th army out of. So we'll split it. It's pretty equal. Take this army. This army will go to the border. Charlon. This army is the Royal Guard. They go to Paris. This army stays in the south. In Tulio. Or Tulios. Toulon. Toulon. To build a naval base. We're also probably going to build soldiers from Marseille. There we go. Bordeaux. Let's build some Crissiers. Because why not? Assassination in Lothringia. Oh no. Lothringian president has been shot dead. Oh no. No one cares. Especially not me. If you guys don't know where Lothringia is in this game, it's actually a South American country. It's right here. Although, if they're German, I have no idea. Lothrian? Loth yeah, Lothringia. Presidential dictatorship. And then there's Barona. I don't know where either of these countries come from. But, you know, whatever. So, we uh, created an army here. We did create an army. Yay. So, they'll go north. This army I'm going to rename. This is the Army of Wales. Which I hope be perfect. This is the regular Army of London. This is the. Um, army. The Army of. Actually, I don't know. Let's, uh. Scott, fish, it's P E D I T I O N A R Y. There you go, the Scottish Expeditionary Force. Should I ever have an interest in Scotland? Because Edinburgh's right there. So if I wish to actually unify the uh, the lands of the crown. Poland, Lithuania. Who are they fighting? Ooh. These guys are kicking the shit out of Scandinavia. Good. Make the Scandinavians weak. Look at that. Holy crap. They're just destroying them. Do I have a reason to declare war? No, I don't. I can justify our war. Man. The traditionalists have taken over Scandinavia. True Vikings. Looks like Plantagia is the strongest state. in the new world. Let's see who the great powers are. Venice is actually a great power. Aragon's still a great power somehow. They must have more armies that I don't see. Uh, I'm actually the first great power. The dual monarchy. Scandinavia fears our might. Scandinavia is getting the crap kicked out of it right now. By Bohemia and Poland-Lithuania. Surprisingly enough. I'm not allied to Bohemia. The Holy Roman Emperor. Well. I think I should... Um, can I do establish a protectorate against these guys? Against Cairo? 
so I can invade. I can demand a concession. Let's do that. I'm gonna demand the Suez. Or the Sinai more. Right? I'll take the Sinai, I'll take um, Palestine, I'll take uh, Jordan, I'll probably attack Syria. I don't know if I can take all of Syria in one go. It doesn't look like I can. I might just seize uh, Lebanon and Upper Syria to kind of create a, you know, fortified thing. I'll probably get some influence into Iraq. So let me see. I need an Egyptian expeditionary force now. I need a navy that can transport them. This fleet here. What's this fleet? Why is my... Whatever. I don't know why my fleets are moving around. Well, I'm going to let these ships repair. This is actually going to be called the... Uh, Indies Orientales. So wait, do I not have a fleet in the Indies now? Sure. So this is going to be Egyptian P I D E T I O N. Spell that right? Oh. There you go. This is the Egyptian expeditionary. Actually, it should be the expeditionary navy. There we go. So the Egyptian Expeditionary Navy, which once everything's fixed and repaired, actually. Can they fix and repair shit there? Look, Khan. Let me look at my budget. I'm gonna boost defense spending. I'm gonna lower taxes. Because we really don't need them, especially when tariffs are up to 25%. Let's bring tariffs to 30%. There we go. And uh, this army that I just created will be the expeditionary force for Egypt. This army is still pretty damn big. We'll take this other 18,000 men and apply it to the expeditionary force. Because I don't think Burgundy's gonna attack me any reason, for any reason really. So soon. Good. They're being repaired. So I have 11 ships. How many soldiers do I have here? Five, six, seven. I have. 13 or 14. Okay. So I actually might be able to move the entire force in one go. So how's the war justification coming? 68%. Alright, we're pretty good. Man, Iraq is just being picked apart. Actually, the Zon Dynasty is getting its ass beat by the Iraqis. Surprisingly. Burgundy actually has the uh, Burgundian province to cap, the Cape province. What are you talking about? Do I have an army in the east? Mm, I do actually. It's based here. I don't have any transport fleets here. But I do have a garrison here. How many more troops can I get? Four. Okay. We'll get an Angoloi artillery. Alright. So we're going to use this army to basically um, colonize parts of uh, India. Uh, Vaginagar is actually in the sphere of Spain. Bengal is in my sphere. So I think it'll probably be best to declare war on the Mughals and use the Bengalis as a uh, shield kind of as uh, to help fight so that's that's probably my plan of attack after attacking Egypt and taking what I need right, let's 
So the 18th Army and the Expeditionary Force is kind of healed up. So we'll sail to Marseille. Where they'll probably get finally repaired, truly repaired. Uh, no, that's fine. Take this fleet to Montpellier. Or Montpellier. I don't think anyone from France watches this channel. But if you do, I apologize. <laughs> for the really awful um, French. But I don't speak French, so. That's what you get, I suppose. <laughs> Beautiful. Medicine. So, I think... Uh, let's do army. We'll do muzzle-loaded rifles. We'll also attempt to colonize this. I need the prophylaxis against m malaria. I think that's actually in the technology. There it is. 1% have invented great or have invented uh, organic inorganic chemistry. Which you can't until 1850. So, while I'm doing this, I'll also build a bunch of steam transports. I only need like five. Okay, a new minister. Um, sadly, our prime minister has died in office. It falls upon the monarch to choose a new prime minister. Uh, three candidates uh, have the favor in Parliament. The Duke of Raichulu, known for his inclination for the young French. Uh, the Duke of Rohan, a Breton moderate. And lastly, the Duke of Devonshire, well known on the island. Uh, obviously, it's Devonshire. He's well known in the, uh, the Isles, on the island. So up here, he's a well-known Briton. Uh, opposed to the French. Oh, good. Pharmaceuticals. We have we now have, like, radioactive pills. Ooh. Liberals exploit cor cholera epidemic. Ugh. Accuse them of opportunism. How dare you exploit people dying of cholera. So, are these guys a partially westernized? These guys are an uncivilized nation. Completely uncivilized. Eating their feces. <laughs> So uncivilized. That's what it. That's what it sounds like, though. It's like they're uncivilized. <laughs> kind of shows the pomp of the uh, of the uh, empire or of the great powers in this game. I just think it's funny. All right. So both fleets have finally reached here. This fleet is slowly being rebuilt. Uh, bloody revolutionaries. We should be all right, though. We have the, you know, 50,000 soldiers in the north. Ooh. Bacteria and antiseptic. These people are pretty pissed. Pretty pissed. It's okay, though. I have almost 40,000 men there. Now, I would usually, I would let um, liberals take power, uh, but I don't want to become a republic, so I will fight tooth and nail to stop that from happening. So, oh, so six down, 11th, okay. So I'm going to declare war in Egypt before that Kazis belly runs out. Demand concession of the Sinai. Uh, call allies, both would join. So, the Kingdom of Algeria joined them. And I'd be afraid if it wasn't the Kingdom of Algeria. So, we're going to sail for the Palestine coast. I'm also going to take the second fleet as well and sail for the Palestine coast. And uh, we'll land and take the Suez. I'll probably have to pour more soldiers into it. In all honesty. Um... I'll probably have to pour close to 40,000 soldiers into this war. Whoa! They're at war with Moldavia. 
and Moldavia has conquered all of Bulgaria. What do they want? Dobruja. Yeah, they want this this region. Dobruja. Well, you're not going to get it. Well, you probably will get it. Probably. Yeah. Uh, the Egyptian navy just can't fight me. There's no way. My navy is far too powerful. I probably have the... How, how big is my navy? I have the second best military in the world, I think. Must be. That's my military. I actually do. I have the largest military in the world. Next is Manchu. Hmm. Oh, good. We've reached the coast. Uh, I think it's that navy. It's this one. 32,000 soldiers. Should be far than enough. More than enough. Let's, let's raise taxes a little bit between the uh, the poor. Tax the middle class at 35%. We're going to tax the rich at 35% as well. That way I can lower tariffs later. So let's go and pick up the rest of that army. Go here. What are you doing? Go here. Apparently there's a cholera epidemic. So Turkey actually has... <laughs> they have this region that's been... Uh, separated from the Turkish mainland. I'll probably declare war on them to take it after I secure the Sinai under Anglo-French control. And then uh, I'll probably plot here. See, look at these guys. These guys have massive armies in Bengal. Let's see if they'll ally me. Will not accept. Although Spain would probably enter the war on my side. Let's justify war. We'll demand a concession from them. We'll probably take um, this region, which is Orissa, from the Mughals. And have a, we'll have a foot in India to hold. Oh good, we immediately took the Suez. So my plans for Egypt are to eventually just make it a, uh, a puppet state and to basically just control Egypt um, that way. They have an army. Let's engage them. My military is far superior to theirs. We're going to give chase. Are they running to Cairo? They are. Let's move into Cairo. Let's see if we can catch them. I don't think we are. It's 22nd, 23rd. We did catch them. Beautiful. And then we're going to unload. We're going to get 6,000 more soldiers. Oh no, the Mughals have found us out, guys. Oh no. It's so scary. The Mughals aren't going to go in. Ooh, what's this? Anglo French Herald. A new daily has begun circulating in the dual monarchy, the Anglo French Herald. Carrying a hard hitting political commentary. Literary critique on local news has quickly developed into a flagship for local politics. Oh, yeah, I really don't care, whatever. Hope I'm not in the obituaries. <laughs> Battle for Cairo was decisive, and my army completely smashed them to, to smithereens. Yay. So I'm just going to engage all the Egyptian armies. Ile de man. What? How dare you? The Egyptians sailed all the way up to England. That's amazing. Alright, you want to surrender now? Because, I mean, I've smashed the hell out of you. Hmm. Where's that 6,000 men? 
So let's see, would there be any other region of Egypt I'd be interested in actually taking? Hmm, doesn't look like it. It's easier just to deal with the Sinai and not to conquer the entire thing. Unless it starts being, like, partitioned between other great powers. If that's the case, I will intervene. Yeah, whatever. I have, like, barely any militants say Why? Why people care? So we'll take Zak Zakazig. Immediately step off the boat, and they're losing like 2,000 men or 200 men to my 6,000. Can I puppet state these guys on top of it? 85 war score plus the. I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it in one war. Hmm. Chamber of Commerce protests. Perhaps some slightly adjustments should be considered. This battle's been going on way too long. Beautiful. Obviously, we're just going to condense these two forces to one army. They're going to run. Oh, no, they're not. They're going to stay and get slaughtered. Okay. Whatever, Egypt. <laughs> Il est de man. Right now, can I actually march to the island of man? Oh, I can. Beautiful. The garrison of Ireland will kill him. Give him a good fight in my Irish friends and brothers. Oh, it's a slaughterhouse. Oh, no. It's a massacre. Dead. You want to surrender now? They would accept. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, the second fleet can return back to France. Oh, and we managed to kill the... Actually, I'll just keep him in Belfast. Uh, we managed to kill the Egyptian army on the island of Man. <laughs> dual monarchy doing work. Doing work. So, I think we're going to lower tariffs down to... 25%. Scandinavia. Oh, no, wait. What happened? I wanted to read that. Uh, yeah. um, Scandinavian reactionary. Oh, my God. Hold on. I'm going to have to read this. Uh, have enforced their demands in Scandinavia. Traditionalists will become the new ruling party. Political reform selected. No voting. No ruling party only. No <laughs> political reforms allowed. State press only. State controlled only. Only underground political reforms. Nobody gets out of the country. <laughs> um, mandatory service and political reform selected. Oppression. Ganche Buffoon will be removed from Scandinavia. Uh, lose 11 prestige. Gain 50 war exhaustion. Get the power of tradition event. Jeez, they're going back to Viking ways, guys. They're going back to Viking ways. Those savages. Oh, look. Bohemia conquered... Uh, the coast of Germany. So, Bohemia is slowly emerging as the only viable German state, it looks like. So, they reverted to an absolute monarchy. Hmm. Well, I would, you know, be afraid, but I'm kind of in a very strong position here. To the point where nothing's really a threat. Alright, so let's declare war on these guys. Declare war. Demand concession of Mughal Arissa. Uh, oh, great. Or suppress the society. Oh, great. Stick with the old ways. That's fine. Call allies. Who would join this war? Spain and Savoy. 
Spain joined, Savoy joined, declared war on the Mughals. Man, these guys like me too. So, the Mughals have a freaking huge army. So, let's see how this war will go. They still haven't built any of the transports. Okay, well. I haven't built any of the transports, which means I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to wait. Actually, I don't even think they can build steam transports here, can we? What if I build clipper transports? Can you build those immediately? Yes, I can. Okay. Cool. Alright, so we just wait. I mean, the Mughals will filter in. Increase the Barrow's budget. The Mughals will filter in. They'll move small amounts of soldiers to the islands. We just kill them constantly, and eventually they'll run out of soldiers, and we can take parts of India. Seems pretty simple. Oh, he's, he's running. He's running. He's running to Madurai. Sail up here, massive arm. Actually, can I sail? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reform the curricula. I've got the fleet. The Mughals don't have the fleet to withstand it. Oh, shit. Tibet's being conquered by Mongolia. Uh, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Alright, well, we're going immediately to outlaw slavery. If I can find where the hell that is. Um, slavery, outlaw. Outlawed slavery. slavery. It'll bring down um, everything. From, who else am I at war with? Google... Who's this other nation? Oh, the Chagatai Khanate. Huh. You're right. You guys are so far away, I don't even care. I'll just keep my fleet here in the coast of uh, Mardell. Can I get... Um, military access? Fuck you. You don't get military access through me, then. What about these guys? Can I get military access? They're protected by... Can I not declare war on these guys? I guess it was, it's because I have... Uh, my relations with them are really good. Look at their army. They actually have a larger army than I do. But mine's more powerful because I've, I'm a Western nation. So I don't have the Suez yet. I, what do I need to build the Suez? Technology, politics, decisions. Build the Suez. Build, there it is. Build the Suez Canal. I just have to invent the steam turbine. I lose um, 25,000 pounds building the Suez. So it'll take a little... It doesn't happen immediately. Yeah, it doesn't happen immediately. It happens over time. Okay. Uh... 7%. 22% want free press. So we'll give it to them. Free press. 39. Let's bump it to 45%. We'll raise tariffs a little bit to increase... The only reason we're losing money right now is because we're at war. Oh good, we got one ship built. Yes. We're well on our way. How many do I need? Eight. How many are in queue? Eight. Good. We're on, we're on schedule. We're on schedule. So, um, Chagatai is too far away for me to even care about. Hopefully the uh, Muscovoy will become powerful. Form Russia. Kill Novgorod. Annex Siberia. Defeat Chagatai. Expand West. Ooh, look at the Japanese. Already doing work. 
I'm actually going to increase my relations with the Japanese. Alright, so we're going to do early railroad. We need the railroad in the, uh, the empire, across my empire. In the name of the dual monarchy. So I guess we just, we just wait a little bit until we can get enough ships. Anti-Jacobin tract. Interesting. I mean, we're, we're constitutional monarchy. We let people vote. And only if the prime minister dies, apparently, does the king have a say in what actually happens in politics. So, I mean, that's not really a big deal to me. Look at the beauty of the dual monarchy. So beautiful. And Burgundy. Burgundy was our ally for a while, but I think as soon as we... Uh, What's my prior? Savoy and Bengal. Okay. Let's uh, increase relations with them. Maybe they'll like me more so I can do something. Palestinian nationalists. Well, we can't have that. Actually, if Palestine goes into a thing, I'll just demand to uh, annex them, and I'll annex them. Same with uh, Transjordan, Palestine, which is... Uh, all desert, it seems. Oh, look at that. 25,000 men. I can't march there and kill them, unfortunately. Actually, can I uh, use one of my focuses? Courage soldiers. There we go. See how long it'll take before we start getting soldiers in this region. Especially since I'm paying them very well. Paying my armed forces very, very well. I'm half tempted to just declare war on the Turks and cross into Palestine. But I think that'll be for another episode. I'm going to end it here for now. When we pick up next time, we will uh, fight the Mughals and uh, take uh, our little piece of India as we move to become a greater power in both the Orient and in Asia. Or in, in Asia, the Orient and Africa. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it quite a bit. And uh, it lets me know that uh, you guys like it. So until next time, stay tuned.